What's up guys? I just got back from a test drive in this 1969 Chevelle. We took it down the road. It does run and drive good. If you want to see that video, just refer to the end of this one or type in 1969 Chevelle Maple Motors in the YouTube search bar. Today we're going to walk around. I'm going to point out any kind of flaws on the outside of this car. And if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. I post videos like this every single day. If you want to see a full inventory of muscle cars, check out maplemotors.com. We buy about 10 a week. We got about 60 to 70 in stock at all times. With that being said, let's get started. It's got a uh, pretty nice set of rev wheels on it. Looks like pretty new tires. I do like those wheels. They give it a pretty good look here. The uh, pretty blue paint job as well to match it. Pinstriping going down the side. You can take that off. It's just stuck on there. Somebody probably got that at the store somewhere, maybe Walmart or something. The front bumper looks like it's been replaced. It's nice and new looking. Very clean. The grill doesn't look bad at all. Going over the front end, just kind of looking down in the paint. I could see a couple little bubbles just from the prep work. Looks like some more bubbles where the paint's coming up a little bit. There's a few chips right around the edges of the hood. Kind of looking down in the paint still. Everything else looks pretty good. Might be a slight dent right there. It does look like a dent. Get down the side of the car. Not too bad. A little wavy right there in that door at the bottom. We'll make our way down that way and I'll look at it. A lot of the trim's been replaced around the windows. Pretty good shape. There's a little crack in this window over here. I seen it when we were test driving it. I don't know if y'all can see that. We'll make our way over that way. Windshield wipers, I couldn't get them to cut on. Looks like a fairly new mirror sitting there. Somebody put on it. Need to roll the window up some more. There is a gap here. We'll check that as well. The weather stripping needs to be replaced on the inside of there. Roof's not in too bad a shape. There's some orange peel up in the middle here. Like I said, we're gonna make our way down this door. Looks like they have done a little bit of work at the bottom of the door, but it's not bad. You can see some of the paintwork right there. The door's really tight right here. Kind of gaps on up. Lines aren't perfect. Somebody's done a little work down in this area as well. As you can tell, it's not it's not horrible. It's not bad at all. Alright. A lot of that looks pretty good. Just kind of checking over everything. Right here on the window, that split, that trim's gonna need to be replaced. Might as well replace it with the uh, the seal that gaps it, because that, that seal there ain't looking too great. There's a crack right here. Trim in the back window's been replaced as well. Like I said, pretty new tires. Looks like the back bumper is in good shape as well. That's probably been replaced when they did the front. That thing looks new. Well, it looks new, and then you look behind the tag here. Look at that. See if I can pull it down. It's got a little rust spots back here behind the tag. But the bumper looks so good everywhere else. That's crazy. Huh. Now looking across this trunk, it's going to need to need some work on this trunk. A lot of bubbles in the paint. Looks like a... It's all getting up under the trunk lid here. And guys, the whole reason I do these videos is to show you all these cars. A lot of people are out of state. They want to know what kind of condition it is in. This is the perfect way to do it. That way you don't drive down here and expect something else. I want you to know everything about it before you get here. 
little dent right here. See if I can make it pop up so you can see it. I got this little bitty screen to look at here. and Sometimes it hides stuff. Keep on looking down the car. You see there's still a little bit of work there. Right in that area. Cracking in the paint. Where they worked on it before. Little bubble popping up right there. The bottom of the door. Make our way on down a little bit more. My handprint on there. Window don't line up on this side either. Uh, it's over the trim. It's sitting on top of it right now. I think the window's off track back that way, so it needs to be all pushed forward. That little spot in the windshield right here I was telling you about. Mirror's been replaced on this side. Emblem's chipping. I'd almost take the white out of there. Chrome probably look good. Bottom of this door's got a spot. A little rust coming through there. We'll go ahead and pop the hood. Give me just a second. I might have to flip the camera trying to get this hood up. All right. I'm getting faster at it. We'll look around this, uh, I believe it was a 396 date code correct motor. It's got the exhaust wrap, the power steering. Looking up under the hood here, it is missing the insulation. A little bit dirty from the dirt coming up off the road through the years. I'm gonna grab the keys, we're gonna pop the trunk. Door opens nicely. I wanna see if I can move this around. No, it's not as loose as I thought it was, but looking at the interior, it does have cloth seats in it. It's like a partial cloth. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the keys. We're gonna look in the trunk. I did wash it earlier. I haven't checked for leaks. I usually look over these cars with y'all. About the only thing that I do prior to these videos is wash them. And most of the time our cleanup guy does it, but when he's busy, I go ahead and take that over. Wow, the trunk's nice. I'm still gonna look for any water spots. And it's not as nice as I thought. It looks good. Look up in these corners. A little rust hole there. Might need a trunk pan. See some cracking on this side as well. And on up in this area. That majority of it's looking pretty good. There's your antenna. They put it in the trunk. Is that water? Little bit of moisture in there. Could have been from where I opened the trunk, where I washed it earlier. I'm not seeing any major leaks though. I think that's due to this nice weather stripping they've installed. It's like your car used to be black, you see the paint chips. Make sure I have my keys before I lock it. Okay, we got them. You ever locked your keys in the trunk? <laughs> I'm sure there's some stories behind that. All right. Well, weather, weather stripping around this door has been painted over. That's no good. We'll check the carpet and make sure that it is dry. Uh, bottom of this door is showing a little bit of rust coming through it. See the bubbles? Let's look at the bottom. See the weather strip, it's broke on this side over there. Come on up to the door panel. The door panel's in good shape. It's got a little spot right here. But overall, that's that's pretty good. Checking in here, I'm gonna look under these mats. Check the floor. Floor's all dry. Carpet looks pretty good. It's very dark in this car because all the windows are tinted. It does have a carpeted panel back there. I mean, you can see the whole deck lid. 
or the package tray is all carpeted. Headliner's in great shape though. It's not hanging anywhere. Looks like it's fairly new. Got a Grant steering wheel. This is a four speed car with a Hurst shifter. It's got a tack under the dash here. Aftermarket CD player. Oh, sorry guys, I wanna wipe my lens. It looked like it was a little dirty. I don't like that. All right, we're gonna look on the dash here. Dash is showing signs of wear. You can see some of the cracks popping up. A little crack there. Uh, the gas gauge did work. The speedometer did not work. I couldn't get the horn to work or the wipers. I think it may be in the switch. The whole switch just seems kind of loose. Uh, oil pressure was staying at 50 in this car. Starts up nice and easy. I couldn't get none of the AC controls to work. There's a little squeak coming from the clutch. If you can listen. I don't know if y'all heard that or not. Hopefully it popped up in the video. appreciate you watching the video if you want to see the test drive of this car just wait to the end of this video or just type in 1969 Chevelle Maple Motors in the YouTube search bar please subscribe I post videos like this every day and if you don't mind jump on my website maplemotors.com got a hundred detailed pictures financing information and shipping information on every one of the cars at our lot we buy about 10 cars a week Make sure to hit that website and give me a call, 615-822-4444. I appreciate y'all watching, and thanks again.